for this problem, what they're asking us to do is simplify this uh, little expression here. So the first thing I do is I need to remember that whenever we have a negative number under a square root, that we can uh, rewrite it to be something like this. And the reason why I can rewrite it like that is just negative 9 times 9 is negative 9. But the reason why I did that is because I know that negative square root of negative 1 equals our little friend i. So therefore, I really don't need to write, um, I really need to write this. I can actually say that this is now going to be square root of 18 over, and you can say i times square root of 9. Now, we know that the square root of 9 is going to be 3. So this is going to be square root of 18 over 3i. Now, I haven't simplified my square root of 18 yet, um, and that's just another point. I just want to make out, I'm kind of adding a lot of things with this problem. Square root of 18, that can be reduced down to the square root of 9 times 2, as I factor it out. Well, the square root of 9 is 3 times radical 2. Now, we have an i on the bottom, all right? And we cannot divide by i in the bottom because we don't really know exactly what i I mean, we know what I represents this radical square root of negative 1. Well, remember, you can't divide by a radical. So I is equal to the square root of negative 1. You can't divide by a radical of negative 1. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get rid of that. And actually, let me just rewrite this as 3 radical 2 over 3i. So what I'm going to have to do is to get rid of that i, I'm going to have to multiply by an i on the top and the bottom. So what I'll be left with is 3 square root of 2 i over 3 times i squared. Now, if I don't know what i squared is, I can just square both sides here. I obtain i squared. The square root of something squared cancels out. So therefore, 3 times negative 1 is going to give me a negative 3. And I know that now these two can cancel out to leave me a negative square root of 2 i. So I kind of went all kind of over the place. You do have to make sure you simplify your square root of 18. You need to make sure you transfer your negative 9, or sorry, the square root of negative 9 to 3i. And then you also need to make sure you multiply your i over i um, to simplify your problem.